Good morning, everybody. Oh, my goodness, what a mess I made. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to the studio. I have this piece, and if you haven't seen um, how I made this, look at the video below this one, and then you will see. So I just want to jazz it up a little bit. I've decided to turn it this way, but I want to work on my dragon. So I've got some... Uh, just clear resin here. It, it's got a lot of bubbles in there. I've kind of been beating it up because I want the bubbles in here. And I just want to give him uh, a bit of texture. So I've got some, oh, what would a dragon be without some gold? So I've got some gold leaf. This is actual edible stuff. Um, I have it in the shop if you're interested. So it's a good idea to kind of break it up a little bit first. And I have too much resin here now for this, but I might let it sit for a bit. There we go. So I'm kind of breaking it up in, in this resin. And I also have some cute little, cute little sort of rocks and broken shell here. I don't have a lot of it. Um, my friend Laura and I collected these when she was visiting me from the States. So there's one which is a bit wonky so I just kind of break that up this one's fine and some really beautiful purple ones that one's a little bit big I might just put him on the side because I want to make this dragon you know to look like he's put him back in here like he's really ancient and he's got you know like something from the Pirates of the Caribbean he's got sort of stuff growing on him he's that old so, but I want to give him some gold too. So I'm just going to mix these together. <laughs> oh gosh, fingers crossed. Let's see how it goes. And then um, I might actually not use all of this. See if I can scoop up some, just the gold. Put it in there. What I did before when I was saying how I made a mess, I was mixing my resin. Uh, so I did the part A and then I went to do the part B and I knocked it with my hand and there was... Luckily, there was just, you know, not that much in the bottle left, so, but yeah, I had resin running down the side, and I had to clean it up. Oh dear, things we do. So anyway, this is what it looks like, quite kind of yucky and messy, but I think it's going to look good, and I'm going to just do it on, on dry, and leave it, sort of let it sit for a few hours, actually. Um, because I don't want it to move too much. So let's see if it's going to move a lot. Because if it does, I might wait. So I'm just going to go down here. kind of want to <coughs> go down with this guy. Oh, swap hands. I'm a righty. Can't do anything with my left hand. So let's just see if I can do it. And if it will stay there. And not move too much. Coming out in clumps. Oh, it is moving quite a bit. So let's use the stick. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to let this sit and come back in about 10 minutes. It should be right to go then. The reason why I'm doing the dragon first and not the water is because once I do the water, I want that to splash, kind of to look. Um, like the dragon is actually going in and splashing into the water so some of it will be covering but this will be the face it'll be the, like the nostrils and you can see the fire that is blowing out as it's crashing down so anyway I'll be back when um, when <coughs> pardon me when my resin starts to harden a little bit okay we're back it's been about 10 minutes I actually added a little bit of gold powder here this is bright gold and um, and I'm just gonna go and uh, start and hopefully while well, I'm hoping that yeah see because that was just too clear I think so anyway let's see how it goes hopefully the, the little rocks and pebbles will um, like the resin will slide down from these so you can actually see them 
but we shall see but I'm just going to keep going with this now and then I have to leave it for a few hours before I go ahead and do other stuff I can probably find some more shells and things to put on and around his head so that's going like that I'm just going to be going around now and uh, just uh, creating a, maybe a nicer shape here and uh, making him a little bit fatter in some areas. Okay, so I'm just going around with that mixture of that gold leaf and some bright gold pigment and the rocks. And just going around and trying to shape my dragon into like a curved uh, shape of a, a shape of a dragon, which um, kind of just splashes into the water and creates all those amazing, um, you know, effects with the splash. So, yep, the splash is coming later. So don't get too excited just yet. Um, it's all happening, guys. But uh, yeah, just going around with my little kebab um, skewer. <laughs> we call them here in Australia, shish kebabs. So uh, it's just a little skewer and just going around and wiping it with my alcohol wife. Wife? Alcohol wife? Okay, that's a new one. Um, anyway, wipe, I meant to say. And just uh, trying to create a really good shape. going to leave it like that now and uh, I'll be back okay there's progress I found some really nice broken shells and I'm just assembling I thought this looked like a really nice shape for his head and uh, you know how they oh my goodness what happened there I lost a bit of recording Ooh, that is a surprise uh, not Anyway, um, I was just talking about the little shells that I added to create uh, something that resembles like little horns. And, you know, if you look at the, the cool, you know, uh, like um, movies and things like that and, and drawings and paintings of uh, illustrations of uh, a dragon, you can see that... Uh, each one has like little horns and things like that coming out of its head so I try to create that with these shells and I think um, it worked really really well in here so I'm quite happy about that and then I added those shells all around the body of the dragon and now I'm just um, like just adding some clear resin to just ensure that it's all um, sealed in and now I'm showing you that I am peeling off the little um, um, masking liquid um, and you know I've, I've put this on the bottom of the board before and you can see how easily it's coming off and I'm just kind of twirling it around my fingers and getting rid of the whole thing Good day everybody, welcome back. Oh dear, where to start, where to start. Okay, so what I have here, this is just uh, a little um, glass sort of board and I've popped some plastic over it. And um, okay, let me just tell you what the idea is. I want to create a sculpture that will go over here. I was just going to paint that, put another coat there, but I think it would look nice since I've got so much texture here to create more texture and create a wave. So this is going to be a little bit of an experiment. So now I have to line it up again properly because I started working with the plastic on the actual board. <coughs> Excuse me. Just so that I can see where I should be putting my, my wave and how it's going to look. But then because I've got this dragon's head 
raised up the plastic wasn't sitting down flat and my 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 little um uh crash glass was sliding off the plastic so that was not good and now i'm just hovering right above and seeing about where it doesn't really matter if I'm a little bit off because you know it's going to be a sculpture so I will mold it on the actual board because this has been this was done like three four days ago so it's 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 you know I can play on top of it so that's what I'm doing I'm just sort of hovering over the top and then I'll just go around with my crushed glass and just create like a a wavy thing I've already got one there so I'm just going to go over here as well and I should make it a bit bigger because I will curl it up and probably even like curl it inwards so I, I might actually make this one bigger so it doesn't really matter where these fall at the moment because I've got my little trusty old brush paint brush and then I can just uh, brush it the way the way I want it to look like so that's what I'm doing so it's the form the the foamy bit is uh, sort of on the edges not so much down here but uh, maybe just a little bit and that will move a little bit with the resin I've already mixed my resin um, but I just want it to sit a little bit and start to set a bit because I, I will not be playing with this too much how does that look? Sometimes I have to look up into the screen to see. Oh, sorry about this glare here. That's the plastic and the lights. Oh, gosh. Okay, so that looks good from up there. And I just want to make it a little bit bigger now. Just want to make it a bit bigger because I will be curling this, like I said. Make it into a curve. And there's a little bit over here. Make it just extend it out a little bit. And I will do that with my... Let's get some more over here, I think. Just trying to create like a bit of a foamy kind of wave lookalike. So that's that. That's my very, very fine crushed glass. And now let's poke this out a bit and in, in and out. Just to make, uh, pop this out a bit. This looks like a hand, doesn't it? Both hands grabbing <laughs> this um, this dragon. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. That's going to move and it's going to mellow down a bit. But I can tap it down a bit. That's all right. And I can still play with it a little bit once the... Yeah, you can never make it perfect, I suppose. But it ends up being perfect, so all good. Right, I'm going to leave there. I just want to show the colours that I'm using. So I'm just going to use the sky blue liquid tint. And that's because the colour is the closest that I could get to, to this colour that I've mixed with my pastes. Because I want the colours to kind of look very similar. And because it is a tint... I want it to be quite transparent. See how transparent that is? It doesn't look it in the cup. But you can see it when I lift this. That's quite transparent. Transparent. Anyway, so I've tested it down here. And I want to be able to see through underneath. And I still keep that pink because I think it looks cute. And I've got a little bit of citron yellow. And I just want to add a teeny weeny a little bit of this blue now I can go in here I probably should probably just put one drop of this sky blue in here because I want to create a nice like a a greenish color now this is going to be a bit of a test let me just sit that there for a second all I want to do is just pop a little drop right on my stirring stick here if I can get it out just without getting 15 of them out come on mate out you come wow it's hanging in there just like me I'm hanging in there too okay so that might be enough I'm going to sort of sit this over here 
or hold it there rather and just get a stirring stick and just stir it in just to see what color I get have you ever seen anyone mix like this before all right so that I think is good enough let me just sit it down here I've got this thing just in case I can still use that all righty Ooh, it turned into like an algae but it's so transparent that it will I think it'll work right on the on the ends here mm, yep and I think I can pull put, put a little bit more in there now I could have gone with another tint and not having to mix them like that you know I could have done that but I didn't because I want to show you that you can mix your tints together and create color okay so this is like a deeper color now and these are going to kind of like sit here to look really cool see that now I want to wait for these to I could even put the whole thing in there what do you reckon no nope, I think I'm just going to leave it like that don't get confused with these colors up this is just a used stick so I've used it before and uh, right so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait I do have some clear left in case I need to, to mix some more colors but I don't need a lot for here I've only got 60 milliliters left um, oh sorry 60 milliliters mixed and I think that'll be plenty for my sculpture because I don't want it to be too thick so fingers crossed Woohoo! I'm so excited okay I just wanted to show you what I did here and you probably can't see much but you can see that color there how it's a little bit deeper than this one and a little bit more blue than this one which is more green which would be perfect as well but this one is a little bit uh, sort of darker and uh, I prefer this color so what I did oh, this was just uh, the real teal another tint one drop went into my mix here of if you remember remember citron citron yellow and the sky blue and then one drop of that real teal made it into a perfect perfect ocean color um, and then I just because I wanted it to be a little bit uh, more transparent than that I added more resin in here clear resin so I only did a little swirl okay I mixed it in first got that and then I added more clear resin and just did a little swirl because I want to have that unevenness when when the colors are, are flowing hopefully fingers crossed and uh, God willing so let's um, wait for this to set because see how it's moving I don't want that once I pour yeah, it's all gonna move and start running and like you can get some silicon and squeeze it around and, and tape it all and make sure it's you know it doesn't move anywhere but um, I'm just gonna wait for it to start setting and then I'll be back okay so what I'm doing here is just adding a little bit of clear over that crushed glass because I want to have that sort of a transparent foamy feel of the whole thing and just working on that um, piece there on the right, your right, my left, uh, as I'm working and it's developing, unbeknownst to me, I, like, I didn't even know it was happening, but later on I could see that it looked, it started to look a little bit like a seal. And that is quite exciting. And now I'm just adding some of those colors, that lovely teal mix. Um and um you know just uh putting it over there it is still a little bit loose not as thick as um you know i want it to be so th this took quite some time to do it and, and i'm showing you there that i'm adding a little bit of that blue to that teal and you can do that guys don't be afraid to mix your colors just learn what colors you can mix together and um you know even if you added a little bit of like gold or silver to your transparent resin mix it would just turn it into like a metallic color quite unique no one else has it and you know that you're a champion because you have just created a, a really cool color 
so I'm just adding more of that crushed glass and I'll tell you what guys I have used probably about a third of the jar of this crushed glass I just I just kept adding more and more to it because I'm, I'm you know I'm just trying to to achieve a result and you can see that have a look on the right there doesn't that look like a seal to you oh my goodness and I'm still not seeing that while I'm doing it like I'm just seeing it now and I'm thinking oh my god this is um just something and it seals you know for some reason um remind me of puppies and just uh you know I have been in this world of suffering because I had to euthanize my little puppy who was I say puppy but she was 16 years old and she had all kinds of health issues and I've been dreaming about her and you know and I think your subconscious mind works in you know mysterious ways it just comes out in your artwork and for some reason there she is and you know what even like it is a cloudy day and there's uh, clouds scattered around and I look up and I can see her in the clouds because she was white and tan she had tan ears and uh, she was white all over and she had a tan tail but I usually just see her face just those three dots you know her eyes and her nose which were black and oh my god I hope I don't get teary now but you know it's amazing how the subconscious works and there's my little seal pup and there's my lovely wave and I just I'm just so excited to to get it all formed and shaped and make it look really interesting like a seal holding on to this um dragon um and 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 creating this wave as well it's just uh, amazing to me how things turn out okay we're back it's been four hours I'm just touching it now it's still a little bit sticky so I'm just wondering whether I should wait or not but I don't really want to wait um, I had to come and stretch this a little bit because I've got some crinkles I still have some crinkles but it doesn't really matter so I am going to try and put this whole thing into onto rather my board and just um, uh, prop it with with stuff so I'll be back in two seconds two seconds that is okay so move the whole board out of the way I've got all the tape off of it and I'm just gonna pop this on there I'll get rid of these out of the way to see what this looks like now oh okay so I'm just gonna bring it up because why is that sticky I wonder so tape, um, I mean plastic and all, this still looks like a seal to me, it's so cool, um, but I do need to play with it a little bit because it's still quite sort of sticky. Eh, I need to go for a second again. Okay, so I've got my tape, I've got my scissors, and I've got a little bit of, uh, just like the wrapping foam. And I need the tape to, to tape it into this lovely object that I've just created. Like, ooh, maybe that's a little bit too big. Maybe I should make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so I am fiddling and for the next probably, <laughs> oh gosh, half an hour or whatever, but it won't be that long in the video, I have been fiddling with creating these little cones and putting them in and between, in between and on top and on the side and just trying to create some sort of a movement with these waves. 
and I absolutely love my seal and um, so I decided obviously to keep him there because he's such a loving lovable um, creature and he is accepting this um, dragon and just you know embracing him and just being so welcoming and saying welcome you know you're part of this sea world now and uh, you know I'm just and he's creating this big splash so I'm, I'm just trying to create all this and I know it's, it's, it's a story um, every piece that I do and every piece that you do it it resembles something that's going on in your life because it is um, an expression of um, of yourself your subconscious mind is working very effortlessly to to create something that's going on in your life at the moment and you may not be aware of it and um, I was definitely aware of it while I was doing this you know because I'm just I'm an art therapist and I know how expression works and how the subconscious works and how the psychology of each one of us works so um, you know I'm just uh, really happy and uh, excited to to be able to to create and to me resin acrylic paints um, oil paints mediums anything that you work with is um, amazing because you can create things and express yourself in such a way it doesn't matter what medium you use I just chose resin because I absolutely love resin and I love to be able to manipulate it and turn it into something that is um, um, that is not just pouring art you know it is easy to do pouring art like you can stuff up doing pouring art you know um, but you can do really really well and it's so easy okay just a really loud car went past sorry about that but like it, sometimes um, you have to choose a way that is not easy it's a way that you know you just um, I have to apply yourself oh my goodness this is gonna be interesting so I could lift this guy up but like I said I want him to be a seal and he does look a bit like a seal don't you think um, I can give him a bit of a mouth here because he does look like a bit of a seal to me and I can even fix him up a little bit there's his eye there's his mouth and this is probably his ear and I might just make him more realistic and give him a bit of a mouth as well okay Now just oh, there he is. Ah, cool, really cool. So now I've just got to let it all sit. Ah, I forgot that that's good. Susanna. All right. crinkles there it does not help see here all right well let's pray <laughs> oh my goodness I might have to put something there something to hold that bit down a bit all right so geez Louise okay let's leave it I'll be back tomorrow morning. I'm not going to touch it anymore. I, you know, it is a little bit crinkled, but you know, I will add some texture to the whole 
wavy bit tomorrow and you'll get to see how I do that. So anyway, thanks for watching up until now and I will see. Okay, so next morning, let's see what's going on here. Yep, see that one came off, but it's left some funny thing there for me. Did not appreciate that. This one's coming off as well. And just gonna, I think. Oh, yeah, some of that glass glitter sliding off because it wasn't stuck on properly. It's all right, I'll just tip it all out here. Mm. And I'm just going to try not to break this thing because it's very thin. Oh, it's still a bit soft. That's interesting, probably because it was pretty cold and like moist. Because it's been rainy. Wow, look at that. How cool is that? Oh, it's good that it's a bit soft still, so I can I can kind of um, mold it a bit better. Alrighty, well that's not too bad at all, you guys. Not bad at all. Still a little bit soft, which is great. I wanted to, oh, that's nice. Just flip, kind of break that a little bit. That is nice. Really interesting. And I will make, um, maybe that's a bit too close to my, maybe I need to go like that a little bit. <clears throat> maybe even try to lift this one up a bit more. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to have to play with this for a bit. I'll stick this one down because I like the position of this guy. And I popped a little, little, um, what do you call these things? It's like a sequence or something. It was on my shirt and I flicked it off and <laughs> it's uh, perfect for where it is now. So, alrighty, tape. I need to tape this guy down here. Wow, how interesting. See what happens when you're, when you're playing? Now I can sort of lift that up a little bit more like that. That look like on the knee. I mean, it's pretty flat, which is pretty cool. Alrighty, I'm gonna have to lift, tape this down here. I like the way that is sitting. And of course, he will wanna, he will want to bend it a bit. Keep falling down, so I'm just gonna have to pop something else underneath there to, um, to keep it up I don't want it stuck up like that now right, let me play with him and then I'll come back 